Prince Harry and Meghan Markle surprised everyone yesterday. They said they are taking a step back from their roles as senior members of the royal family. They say that they will become financially independent, split their time between Britain and North America. I spent about an hour reading a lot of the comments. I can tell you I was getting angrier and angrier at some of the things that people were saying about Meghan Markle, but I won't get that personal. ABC News 04 correspondent James Longman, he's covering it outside of Buckingham Palace in London. Um, James, thanks for joining us. So first, before I talk about some of the comments, um, there are some conflicting reports about the money. I read one article that said they'll get two million a year. I read another that said they won't get anything. Do we know more about this arrangement? Hey, Tamron. Well, I think pretty safe to say that we don't really know very much at all. That's always the case with the royal family. We know that the Windsors are a wealthy family privately. So I think in order for Harry and Meghan to sustain themselves, you know, kind of outside of the royal family, there is money there. The Queen Mother left money uh, to her great-grandchildren. Uh, Diana, when she died, left a fund for William and Harry. So there is a pot. Meghan, obviously, successful woman in her own right, has money of her own. But there is a big... There's going to be a big... Uh, change now into just how they plug into funds to continue their lives because obviously as members of the royal family you would normally you know as a public servant have access to public money but how much they're gonna have access to we just don't know you know yeah. I think a lot of people saw this coming the writing was kind of on the wall for a little while um, but I think this was a total shock to a lot of people not least the Queen right who had no idea it was coming well that's what I'm saying if a lot of people saw it coming the Queen didn't because in her statement uh, or at least a statement from of uh, the monarchy, it appears that, that they did not know. They said, we understand their desire to take a different approach, but these are complicated issues that will work or take time to work through. When I read that statement, James, it sounds like they were saying, you might want to leave, but it's not that easy. Exactly. I think you're 100% right there, Tamron. Look, the conversations had actually been going on for a little while. They knew that something wasn't right. You know, Meghan last year in that documentary spoke about how she felt she was just surviving and when really she wanted to thrive. The British people knew that something wasn't right there and they were in discussions about what their future role would be behind the scenes. But uh, I think they didn't realise that this couple were going to put out this statement in the way that they did. I think there is... Um, you know, there's love for Prince Harry. He's a well-loved figure. But the Queen, she trumps him. People like her uh, a lot here. Even people who don't necessarily like the monarchy so much, they love the Queen. And I think there's a sense now that they've kind of gone behind the, her back in coming out with this statement. And the, the family at the moment, they're angry about this. And I get that. I mean, listen, I love the Queen. Any woman who has a handbag to match every pastel <laughs> outfit, I'm a fan of. Um, and she is a survivor, and she handles some of... It's, her life is unimaginable. So I absolutely... Absolutely, I'm a fan of the Queen, even here from the States. I guess for me, James, the thing that bugged me a little bit about the comments and the reaction was that people were blaming Meghan Markle for Harry's decision. He's a grown man. And I, it, it reminds me of Adam and Eve. You know, Eve made Adam ate the apple because he wanted to. Maybe, <laughs> Pri maybe Prince Harry is leaving because he wants to leave. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think maybe Meghan is the woman who's allowed him finally to be set free. Harry's always had a bit of a difficult relationship with his family. He's always kind of been the rebel. And in every generation, look back, there's always been that rebel. There's been Margaret, you know, uh, sister to the Queen. There's been, back, go back further, uh, King Edward, who had to end up leaving the royal family for his younger brother, George, to become king eventually. So there are these rebels, and Harry has been one. And maybe there's an idea that Meghan has finally allowed him to be himself. Yeah. And they see themselves as this kind of global couple who can go around the world doing good. That is an admirable uh, that is an admirable aim. I think where the difficulty comes, for British public anyway, is if they seem to be picking and choosing the parts of royalty that suit them and not doing right. the stuff they don't quite like so much. I That'll be that. a problem. I get that. Well, James, thank you. It is quite impressive you stood in that rain and not a drop of rain got on your hair. Here, I promise you. That's amazing. <laughs> You're like Superman. Lots of